everyone, Celia Lice Lady here. Welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So today we're gonna get into the facts of how do I check my kid's head for lice? And we're gonna show you how to do that. So my first client today is a little boy. I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and comb out his hair. He happens to have short hair, so that's perfect. You can see how to comb the short hair. We're gonna show you how to check to see if your kiddo has it using that nick. Hey, can I check your head? Yeah. Okay, thanks bud. Okay, I'm gonna put this towel around you, okay? So basically what we're doing is we're looking for eggs. We're going to take a look close to the scalp of the head because typically they like to lay their eggs about an eighth of an inch away from the head. So we're gonna start at the base of the neck and we're, oh, does that tickle? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start at the base of the neck and go ahead and check and see if we can find any eggs. There's no eggs in your hair? Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad. What's in your hair? Just bugs. Just bugs? <laughs> okay. There's bugs that, there's, there's eggs in my, my sister's hair. There's eggs in your sister's hair? Yeah. Oh. If you don't see anything initially, then what we're gonna have you do is we're gonna actually have you take a knit comb and then we just take some of our comb out mousse. We put a little bit of that on the head. What this does is it smooths out the hair shafts and make them so that they're easier to comb. Does that tickle? It makes it so that it's easier to comb the hair. Can I see the comb? Thank you, sir. So we're gonna comb the hair. We're gonna comb the hair down. You are ticklish. When lice lay their eggs, they lay on one side of the hair shaft. I'm doing something to my mom too. We're doing something to your mom too. We're checking your mom's hair too. So, when they lay their eggs, that's why we have to make sure that we check every different direction. So right now we're combing down. All right, do you wanna look at your toes? There you go. Oh, does that diggle? Yeah, that's <laughs> And then we comb up. Make sure that your comb is parallel. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's the cutest. Make sure that your comb is parallel with the head and that you're combing all different directions. So you're combing down, up, and side to side. And you're going to do this throughout the whole entire head until you have a clear head check or unless you found something. So we're just combing down, side. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Side to side. How are you doing, bud? Mom, look at my, my hair like you. Mm -hmm. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> and then you're gonna wipe the comb off and then just give it a good flick just to make sure that there's nothing on there. I have a shark in it. Oh, right there, there's your shark. You have bugs and ants? Your head is crawling with stuff, isn't it? What we're doing now is we're just going against the grain of the head. We've already gone with the grain. We're going against the grain. You want to make sure that you do a really thorough head check. So I that love clipper. <laughs> on that. And then don't forget to go side to side on the top of the head as well. I, I, oh. Both sides. Hey, can I do that too? Yeah. He's all clear. That's how you do a head check. Whoa there, sir. Good job, buddy. Can you say thank you? Good job. You're welcome. So that's it. That's how you check for short hair. Super easy, it just took us a couple minutes to do something that you can do at home. With that comb, go through, check your kiddo's hair, and he was lice free, so all is well, all is happy. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like our page, and click the link below to go ahead and see the different products that we have that we used to be able to check his head.